for certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. So do you think we'll be needing umbrellas today? Yes. You'll need your umbrella and uh, make sure you have the four zone weather app too because storms are in the forecast. Ooh. Do you have an umbrella yes. that I can <laughs> use? <laughs> I'm gonna need one of the we still have those news four umbrellas. I've got a news four around. umbrella in my locker I can lend you. You right. lose everything. That's well, it's in a like car second, somewhere. It's what a guy does. <laughs> yes, it's down there with all kinds of tools. Hey, and use your vest things. as an umbrella. You know your famous vest. Just uh, put that over your head. All right, here's what to expect weather wise. Lots to talk about here. Areas of fog and drizzle this morning. Showers and storms possible later today. Some of the storms could be severe from this afternoon through tonight. Just an isolated storm chance for Friday into the weekend. Next week, the big weather story is the heat. It looks like the heat will build across the area next week. Highs likely in the 90s and maybe even triple digits. Temperatures right now, 70s. Hey, we'll take this compared to the 90s, 73 degrees right now in San Antonio. Very humid. Dew points are even higher this morning compared to yesterday morning. There's a lot of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico at the surface and also plenty of moisture aloft that's coming from the Pacific. Uh, there is fog out there and mostly uh, it's in the hill country. We're start starting to see some lower visibilities there from New Braunfels to Kerrville and back into Rock Springs. Notice the cloud cover across the region. We're seeing the cloud moving from west to east and that's coming from an upper level short wave that's slowly working its way across northern Mexico across the country notice there goes the rain we're seeing it lifting northward across uh, into Canada uh, seeing this area of rain in Nebraska heavier showers moving away from Oklahoma into uh, Arkansas those storms are weakening in Oklahoma snow across the inner mountain west the east coast showers pushing offshore much of the west coast is dry dry line is parked in West Texas, plus there's a short wave right there in northern Mexico. Those two features will continue to move to the east, and that's what's going to increase our rain chance as we go into the afternoon and tonight. So through the morning, it'll be cloudy, patches of drizzle or a couple of showers. This afternoon, it's going to be mostly cloudy to cloudy with scattered showers along with a few embedded thunderstorms. Uh, the dry line will help to fire up storms in Mexico and some of those storms will move towards the Rio Grande. Could see a supercell thunderstorm between six and seven o'clock this evening in between Del Rio and Eagle Pass. And if that verifies, that could produce some very large hail. Could also see some hail producing storms this evening through tonight, anywhere from northern Bear County up into the hill country. I think this in-house computer model is a little overdone, but just keep in mind that there is a concern for storms that could produce some hail from this afternoon through this evening and continuing into late tonight. This is still showing some storms nearby between 3 and 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. Tomorrow in the afternoon, few lingering showers, but I think the storm chance uh, diminishes, at least the severe storm threat diminishes tomorrow. So level one, level two, severe weather risk later on today. Of course, that risk increases farther north. That's where we could see storms that produce tornadoes. So here's your forecast as I take you through the day. Cloudy this morning. Patches of fog along with areas of drizzle, scattered showers and storms developing as we head into the afternoon. Forecast high of 85 degrees, 40 percent rain chance late this afternoon, 50 percent rain chance tonight. Notice rain chances decrease by the end of the week. Next week, very little to no rain. It's all about the heat next week. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. We'll be right back after this short break.